So, here's a breeding shed. I'm, uh, well, a breeding... Well, I don't know what this is. It's not a shed anymore, but this is a breeding update. Um, this is Haverty and Arini, and I'm treating everybody back here for a yeast infection because they just had two courses of antibiotics, one of which is a kind that commonly causes yeast infections. Um, so that stalls them out because it makes the hens not feel good for a while. So we haven't got any eggs out of these two yet, but today is their last day, and I expect eggs pretty soon. As you can see, even after um, antibiotics, this guy still has a big swollen chest. His um, crop is all full of gas, but um, he's clearly feeling better because he did manage to fill two eggs for me. So I have fertility. I've got one for sure and another one that's really early on, so I'm not sure. And then I dropped a third egg on them from Neptune and Athena because they had one egg that was far behind the others um, and too many altogether. So I actually, there are four eggs in here that look like they have something in them, but one of them is kind of translucent, like maybe it's just goo. So I left it, I left four in there and after the third one hatches, the last one goes in the freezer. Um, Neptune actually, it looks like he has the disturbance on his shoulder growing back again. Um, which would indicate that it's cancer because it's growing back really aggressively. He, he just finished chewing this thing off like a month ago and it's already starting to grow back. But so far he has good weight, high energy, he's feeding his girl, and it ain't contagious, so we'll keep him. Um, he's going to make daddy one more time. Um, down here, these guys have five embryos. I'm going to have to do a little culling here pretty soon. But I'm kind of waiting around to see what happens. So anyway, these guys have at least one of their own embryos, perhaps two, and another one of these guys. So, fingers crossed. Um, yeah. Um, this is Ocean, and his girl is sitting on five embryos, which is fine with me because she is one that I have decided I'm going to foster her eggs to the little birds. So she's going to keep three and pass on two. Um, these guys got their first egg today. This is, um, Khalil and Demir, and I can hardly wait for, to see fertility happen, but of course she just waited today, so it's not time yet. Um, these two were going gangbusters, and then I started giving them medicine, and they're like, eh, we're not feeling so good. But again, the minute I stop giving it to them, they'll be fine, and they'll start laying, so... This is um, Steel, whom, by the way, I have recently discovered is not a weird-looking gray because he has a double factor violet. He's a slate, which is a bird that looks very like a gray, but they have a, a blue sheen to them. You can't really see it because he's in the dark right now, but um, he is a slate. So, surprise, surprise. I also think that my storm from a million years ago was a slate. And this guy right here is probably split to slate, along with all of his brothers and sisters. Um, and his little girl, Pythos, my recessive pie hen, did end up laying another egg. So they have three developing eggs in there, three embryos, which is exactly what I like. And I'm very excited. Um, this girl looks terrible. This is um, Blanca. She has something going on. Um, I just switched her to Amtil because I think she might have some kind of internal infection or something going on. She has a giant bump where an egg bump should be, but it is not an egg bump. It's not the right texture or size or shape to be an egg bump. Um, I also think she was plugged up, but... Um, I've given her electrolytes and started her on antibiotics, and she's starting to dribble um, feces out of the back end, so maybe she's on the mend, or maybe she'll die. It's not good either way, but do you see that? She's eating. She's drinking. This is a bird that still has a will to live. So I put lotion all over her bump, cleared out her little bum, and um, hopefully she and gave her electrolytes with her antibiotics, and hopefully this is going to alleviate her suffering. Um, this is um, snow and cumulus, and again, um, uh, snow was not really 
she went up to it. She's one that I definitely know had a yeast infection, but she's, she's obviously starting to feel better where he's like, damn, I was feeling so good. So I'm going to be watching for these two to show some signs of life once they stop the medication, which is today is their last day. So this is Malachite who has grown quite a little bit since last time. Now, this is Bubba Jr. over here, and Malachite's girl, Lava, used to have it big for Bubba Jr. So I stuck a paper towel in between them to kind of cut the view, and she started behaving herself and said, all right, I'll do Malachite again. And he's um, a lot more mature and knows his stuff now, so she's getting bread. I don't think she's laid an egg yet, but she's in that box. These two. This boy. This is Tuscan, has finally found a girl that loves him. <laughs> she lets him feed her, and as you can see, he's standing on her back. Um, so, again, they're not going to lay any eggs until they get off this medication, but tomorrow and the next day, they're going to start feeling better, and we're going to have an explosion. I'm glad to see him behaving that aggressively, because I've had two hands that completely rejected him. Um, and she has not. She clearly likes him very much. And she's in that nest box, but I know she's not going to lay an egg until she's even better and off the nest. Uh, let's see. This is Marble and um, Prussian. Um, they're a bonded pair, and they made me three beautiful pie babies last time. I'm ready for some normals. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, when you breed a, a single factor dominant pied to a normal bird, you're supposed to get half pieds and half normals. And when you breed a single factor spangle to a normal bird, you're supposed to get half spangles and half normals. That doesn't ever seem to happen for me. So last time I got three chicks out of them, all three are pieds. Two of them are spangles. So um, this time I have on order normal chicks. Give me normal chicks, no fancy mutations. Um, not that I'm complaining because one of their chicks from last time is a stellar looking little guy. I'm calling him um, Jester Jr. because he looks just like his grandfather and he is really shining. So do that again. Um, Miss uh, Marble here had a little bit of the swollen crop thing. It is gone now. Um, I have a fair number of the swollen crop birds that seem to have made a recovery between the two medications. Um, and she was feeling really badly for quite a long time, but I can see her perking up even while they're still on medication. And they have a couple of more days to go. So, and this is Bubba Jr. and Sif, who are also going to get extra embryos fostered. Their cold date is, oh, today. Um, so I'm going to, what I do on the cold date is I pull off when the first egg is laid and replace it with a sticker that says when the first egg is due to hatch and I pull off the cold date thing and I replace it with a sticker that says how many embryos we're working with here. Um, so that's going to happen here real quick. And this is Toby and um, having a brain fade, Lavender. <laughs> and they are a bonded pair that make these just stellar babies. Lavender had come down with a huge swollen breast. As you can see, that has faded away in her as well. It seems to fade away most quickly in the um, uh, in the um, younger birds. So she's she's actually only a year and a half, maybe two, um, and they get over it quicker. Whereas a lot of my older birds still have a big blown out chest. So, but they are clearly feeling better. So, what are you doing to that poor girl? She says, "I love this." Other question, what is that poor girl doing down there in the corner? Okay, so, um, on my terrible little birds, um, the little yellowface hen up there has done nothing. I think she had a yeast infection, um, where the others kind of blew through it without. But she has gotten her treatment, and I'm pulling the uh, medication tomorrow, and I expect her to start getting down to business. All the other girls have three eggs in their nest. They're, of course, um, not going to keep those eggs. They are going to get fosters. Um, but uh, they can keep laying for a while. I don't need to foster over eggs until um, they get a little uh, older. So, and I'm going to only give each of these two chicks 
because I I foresee I want to leave extra room. I want to leave extra room because we've had sickness. I want to leave extra room because these guys are amateurs. Um, and I want to so and I want room for fostering chicks. If I have to start moving babies around, I don't want to have. I don't want to be at full capacity. So if somebody gets sick or starts plucking chicks or gets attacked or something, I want a place to put those babies. So. So these guys are each going to have only two chicks in their nest this time. Two fertile um, embryos. Um, they'll probably lay a lot more eggs than that, but what I'll do is um, I will cull their nest down. I'll take out all of their solid embryos and freeze them. I don't even know if they're fertile. I haven't even checked. But I'll, I'll take out, uh, I will check, and I'll take out their most developed eggs. And then as the chicks start to hatch, I will pull the last of their eggs out. So... Um, that's what I'm going to do. These guys are all down here getting yeast medicine. And most of them are looking a little better. Um, so I had no luck breeding Razzle and Remington this time, but I have a feeling Remington has made a huge recovery. Razzle, on the other hand, is much is older than her by about a year, and I think he's aged out. So I may keep Remington and try her with someone else. Of course, I'll have to get rid of Razzle first because she won't breed with anybody else who will try to kill them. And that's not good. So, um, the rest of these guys are just up here getting their, their meds. As you can see, this little girl still has a swollen breast. Um, this guy's looking a lot better. This guy's looking a, a lot better. He's still pretty swollen, a little swollen, but the ones that have it really bad are swollen up under their chin. And that seems to be fading. There, on the other hand, is Sprite, who's an old guy, and he still has it up under his chin. Can you see him back there? Um, it's swollen all the way up under his mask. Um, but a, so a, a significant amount of them are deflating. Um, so hopefully, and hopefully the older ones will deflate given a little time. I think I have cured the bug, but it's going to take them physically a little time to, uh, for their bodies to make the full heal, if you will. So, okay, so that's the update.